Alright YouTube, Arbiter G. Vadim here. Last time I showed you about the CDV 700 Geiger counter, CDV 175 survey meter. Now today I got the dosimeter set. So these are your dosimeter pens. I got four of them thanks to Mr. X Fun uh, on YouTube or on Amazon, eBay. Thank you. This is the, uh, this is not a Geiger counter. A lot of people have been putting in the comments on eBay saying, oh yeah, this is your Geiger counter and everything. No, this is your charger. Uh, I don't know why you'd call this a Geiger counter. It does not measure radiation in any way. It does not measure anything. It just charges dosimeters and calibrates them. That's all it does. Not a Geiger counter. These are dosimeters. They're not Geiger counters. They're not survey meters. They're dosimeters. Don't get them confused. The um, CDV 700 will measure your current rate of uh, radiation emitting or radiation radioactive decay uh, at a very low level. But then once you uh, exit or tread away from the sample, the needle goes back down to zero. Same with the survey meter. So they're good instruments to have for personal research. But if you're working at a nuclear power plant back in the 1970s to about 90s, you'd probably use one of these. Um, this is something that records your dose for the entire time you have it on. It's not something that meters something and then goes back down to zero. This will meter everything it detects for the entire day. So, if you're going to purchase the dosimeters, getting these by themselves will not be enough. Be pretty useless. You basically just have a useless steel tube. You need one of these. This is your charger, and this is your calibrator. So, if you're going to get these, get this. If you're going to get this, get these. Otherwise, they're both useless without each other. So this is our charger here. Runs off D battery. It's got some pretty simple resistors, and uh, there's a light bulb in there to illuminate. I'll show you that in a second. So. What this would do is they would take this into, uh, you worked at a nuclear power plant, you'd have one of these on you for the day. You go in, do your shift, and then when you exited the power plant, you give this to your supervisor. And then he or get, he would give it to somebody that would test the dosage of that day or week or whatever. And then that would tell you what would, uh, what your, if your dosage was good, bad, if there was a problem. And you'd probably get a call home. So, let's show you how it works here. This is our charging unit, right here. This is our positive lead, and this is our negative lead, this is our ground. This is just a screw for taking the case apart. And this is our zeroing knob, you use that to move the needle up and down. So I'll try to see if I can show you what these guys look like when they're lit up. Alright. So in there you can see the Rankins Try to get a better video here. There we go. So you kind of seen there. You get your twenty to two hundred or zero to two hundred level of Rankins. Right now the needle's at, it's going up and down because I'm shaking it a lot. But you move the knob and it calibrates and it moves it up and down to zero. And while you're calibrating it charges and it'll last about a week. Um, dosimeters like these come in different ranges from sieverts, rims, um, millerankins. They don't come in counts because obviously counts is not something that can be recorded daily. But uh, plug it in there, and then you just look down at it like I showed you, and that's your. Let's see if we can see it better, maybe. And if you're wondering why this one's blue, I'm aiming it at the blue LED. But um, they all do the same thing. They're different scale ratings. Uh, this one has kind of an oval shape to it. Uh, these ones are full circles. 
but they're just good to have and they come with if you're looking to get a full CDV 777 set this is basically what would come in a full set I think you only get two of these though so that's kind of a good deal now my other little review today will be about the GMC 320 I have the GMC 300e plus and then this is the GMC 320 this is the model right after the 300e and it is basically exactly the same it does display what's model number on the front but everything about it is exact same as the GMC 300 so if you're looking to get the 320 go ahead it's not much different at all um, the different thing about the GMC 320 the only difference is if I was to tip the screen upside down our little display will turn automatically the 300E does not do that unless you force it to by a setting on the display panel for the program but it is a very fun little thing to have once again I mean I could open the circuit board up but take my word for it it is exactly the same as the 300 E. The tubes the same, the capacitors are the same, voltages, everything is the same. It's just a little bit of a newer software for the ink screen, and it may be a slight count or sievert more sensitive, or micro sievert more sensitive. So if you're looking to get a GMC, I'd get this one. Probably your better bet. But yep. So if you're going to get a CDV 77 set, make sure you get your dosimeters, and if you're going to get a 300E, might as well step it up and get the 320. See ya.